Hey, I'm Andy Terry. I'm co-founder and CTO at Morse Micro. So my name is Michael Danil. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Morse Micro. So I decided to start Morse Micro with Michael because we realized that the chips we were designing at Broadcom were not suitable for the Internet of Things. We realized that we would be able to design a chip that's targeted specifically for the requirements of the Internet of Things being secured and low power. And we realized that no one else was building that chip, so we decided to do it. Yes, yeah, so the vision for Morse Micro from day one has been to be the largest wireless IoT chip vendor globally. So we develop uh, new kind of Wi-Fi chips that are typically made for IoT chips. And so one day we want to be the, the world's largest vendor in this uh, wireless IoT chip uh, industry. So when Andy and I started Morse Micro in 2016, um, we were one of the very only semiconductor companies in Australia. Uh, there was a few other design sites uh, in Australia. So Broadcom had a small team, Imagination had a very small team. But, but that was about it. And so when we started, there was, was literally nobody else out there. I remember we started running like an event, it's called Semi Down Under, where we're trying to bring all of the semiconductor talent in Australia together. And the first few meetings, like it was literally like 15, 20 people that rocked up. We had a few beers together. Um, these days, like the semiconductor industry has really grown quite a bit. We have I think last event, kind of, uh, last few events sold out with uh, 200 people joining. And so it's amazing to see how the industry has grown significantly over the last nine years. Still Morse Micro, we're, we're the largest semiconductor company with about 200 people now in globally, of, of which most of them in Australia. So when I'm looking for engineers to join Morse Micro, I mean, there's, there's many, many things that we look for, but I'd say a couple of the main things that are important are an engineer has got to have a sound grip on the fundamentals. We teach all sorts of aspects of like more advanced Wi-Fi chip design, more advanced engineering aspects, but they've got to have the, the basics solid before they join us. And then I'd say the second thing is uh, curiosity. Uh, curiosity for how things work, and particularly valuable is a curiosity for how an engineer's work fits into the bigger system, how their work, what the adjacent systems are, where their block is going to sit in, in the whole system. So one of the things I love the, the most about Morse Micro is the, the people we get to work with, the investors we meet, the advisors we get, the staff we get. And, and so, so an example of that is, is very early days as we're trying to they raised the very first round of funding. Uh, it was exciting at that time. We met Sam Altman, who was running Y Combinator. Later, we um, ended up meeting uh, Ray Stata, who's the founder of Analog Devices and one of the uh, godfathers of the semiconductor industry. Um, Ray actually ended up leading our Series A round. He's still on the board today. Like He's still helping us build and scale the business. We, we got uh, Malcolm and Lucy Trumbull to invest in the company. Uh, they're amazing investors to have along the journey. Um, we've got a Blackbird and Main Sequence, the two uh, most prominent Australian VCs helping us uh, build the business, as well as like, amazing events throughout the journey, right? Like a few years ago, like Barack Obama came to Sydney. We got to meet him and, and it's, it's these things that, that make it really just nice to, to, to build uh, a company and to, to build something unique in Australia. So the exciting thing about the next generation of IoT is it's going to move from a handful of connected devices to a massive number of connected devices with edge intelligence. Uh, so that's going to require that devices are internet connected, that they're secure, that they're low power, and that they've got enough bandwidth to enable that edge intelligence. Now, Wi-Fi Halo is ideally positioned to satisfy those requirements. And Morse Micro in particular, we're working on lowering the power consumption, so slash the power consumption even further for the next generation of chips and improving the device security. So today we have the fastest, smallest, lowest power, longest range Wi-Fi Halo chip in the market. Over the years to come, we were looking to get that chip designed into uh, many devices. We want to get that chip into uh, millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of devices around the world. And at the same time, we want to keep innovating, right? Like we're already working on a third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation chip so that we can keep innovating and, and keep delivering the best possible wireless chips for the IoT markets.